Hi everyone, my name's Danica, I'm trans, and this is Snap Out Loud. I feel like, what's it, one of my friends said, like, visibility without protection is problematic because we need, yes, we need to be seen, but we need to be able to control how we're seen. Because, I mean, that's the only reason, like, obviously being trans, like, coming out as trans is, like, slightly different than coming out as gay, lesbian, bisexual, all of that, because it's not something that you can choose to not mention. And it's very important to be able to communicate and control that message when we're put on a pedestal without actually being allowed to tell the truth about ourselves. Then you end up with these messy situations and people go, oh, well, I heard this and I heard that, or like, oh, well, the, this trans person is like this. So we can just assume it's like trans people are not a monolith. Pride is every day, every time we step out the door, every time we assert ourselves and affirm ourselves, we are pride as an entity. I don't do well in crowds. I don't do well with large groups of people and lots of noise and all of that. I know that a lot of my trans siblings, a lot of us struggle with that sort of thing. Um, and just to be able to gather as friends in a small group or even just Spend some time, you do your makeup, that's pride. Like every day, like every morning, I have a big floor to ceiling mirror next to my bed. And when I wake up, I look at myself for the first time and the last time before I go to bed. And I'm like, I love you. You are incredible. I'm so proud of you. How did learning more about yourself and being open impact your friendships and relationships with others? So this is a fun one because I keep a very tight circle of friends. And I feel like most of them just went, oh yeah, that checks out. <laughs> it was really funny just like coming out and people were like, oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> it has impacted my relationship with my family. They found it very hard to process. They were shocked in a way that's like, you guys are my parents, you're supposed to know this. Mum, you're the one who made dresses for the teddy bear that we insisted was male. What's up with that? <laughs> um, you know, people can be surprised, but those who love you will love you. Sure, they might be surprised initially, but the response is always to be, I love you and I love the fact that you are loving yourself because we all should love ourselves a little bit more. And to say that there is two sides to every argument, I'm not an argument, I'm not a debate. Uh, in the context of your sexuality slash identity, were there any monumental times in your life that you will always remember? Um, the main one is, and look, most queer people will be familiar with the concept of the egg crack. My egg has cracked many times and I've patched it back together um, using all sorts of coping mechanisms. But when I was 30, my wife and I were in Venice and that is where my egg cracked for the final time. Um, Imagine you're walking around the beautiful city of Venice. It's hot, it's humid, it's sticky. You get back to the Airbnb, your wonderful wife pours two glasses of wine, you go into the bedroom to get rid of the sticky clothes. Um, and life has been difficult since, but it has been infinitely more rewarding because I am now living for myself rather than in spite of myself. If you could talk to your younger self, what advice would you give them? All right, the closet, is a dark and lonely place, but it can be safe for you if you need it. There is no shame in being in the closet. There is no shame in preserving yourself for when the time is right. I have spoken to my siblings about that time in my life and they have expressed that it was not right and it wouldn't have been safe for me. And so remember, because I know that there's a lot of you around the world in various places where it's not safe. And it's so important that you grow up and live first and foremost. Your survival is more important than today, tomorrow. It will be there for you. And coming out is filled with all sorts of complications. But remember that your happiness is most important. And however long it takes to get there, trust me, it is worth it. What's a message of hope for the people watching who are just starting to celebrate themselves? 
You matter. Your joy matters more than the fear and feelings of those around you who would seek to deny you. We are still that whether people recognize it or not. We cannot be stopped and you should never diminish yourself for the sake of others. In fact, to quote the icon of our times, Lizzo, if I'm shining, everybody's going to shine. Shine whatever that looks like to you, however you can do that in a way that fills you with joy and hope. In the end, we're still going to be here. I love you. This was Snap Out Loud. Happy Pride. Thank you.